see if our children are going to be better. Yeah. Mothers and fathers yes. have to be better. Yes. Mothers and fathers are going to be better. Yes. Men and women have to be better. Yes. In our unique surrounding community, yes. we got to find a way to address this. Wrongly, our marriage ministry yes. is crucial. Yes. Build, building a parenting ministry yes. is crucial. Yes. Oh, and I dare to say, Y'all already told the people you want me to stay for I gotta stay one more year. <laughs> I dare to say, uh -huh. come on with me, Turner. I dare to say we need to wrestle with a romance ministry. Yeah. All right. All right. There's something good about courting. Yes. There's something good about dating. Yeah. All right. There's something good about anticipating love talk and love care and cultivating transparent, intimate relationships in Jesus' name and on conversation. We got people hooking up before they talk. Oh, somebody stay with me. Will Downing and Luther. Anita Baker and Jill, like Nat Cole and Billy Eckstein and Sarah Vaughan and Ella Fitzgerald, before them, these people dip us into the sensation of respectful attraction because of the glory of relationship. Watch this. There is no relationship without first relating. There is no relationship without first relating. These folk never meant for their music to make bedrooms places of regret. Yeah. They, they never meant for people to use their music to get what they want at somebody else's expense. They mean for their art to share the beauty of transparency and intimacy. They mean for their skills to give wonder sublime and kind, pure and divine wonder. But we got to have a spirit of teaching, of modeling, that helps people connect in that way. Then, because of respect-filled romance, we will have couples that can become marriages, that can become parents, that will give us children that can bless the community. So we cannot act like this is going to happen by incident or accident. At some point, we've got to connect to God's providence and do what God calls us to do. Not a Methodist man. We got to connect with young brothers more often and teach them what it means. To treat a woman like a woman. Yeah. United Methodist women! Yeah. We gotta connect with young sisters yeah. and teach them what to expect and how to treat yeah. our brother. We ought to stop watching. Yeah. Sisters walk up to a door and have to open it and four fellas around me and nobody open it. Yeah. And we gotta teach sisters. Stop calling brothers dogs and stop answering to names like Skeezer, Hooker, and Hawk. Yeah. Oh, you can call the superintendent, I'll call her first. <laughs> this is the community we live in. These are the people we are around. We cannot expect folk to know stuff they have not been taught.
becomes dignity yes. and worth oh, yeah. in obedience to the spirit. Romance becomes the majesty yes. of women yes. and the grace of men. In obedience in the spirit, families will be what God wants them to be because men and women will have multiplied rightly. We can do this. Mm -hmm. We can begin this. Oh, yes, we can. Yes, yes. Mm. We are unique, surrounded community. <laughs> we can do this, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm almost through. Big time. I expect us, by God's grace, to live into this aspiration we call a vision. I expect us mm -hmm. to be who we say we want to be yes. by following this vision from God. I expect us to make this community better because mm -hmm. the text says seek the welfare of the city. Yes. Where I have sent you into exile, pray to the Lord on his behalf for in its welfare mm -hmm. you will find your welfare. Jeremiah tells him, you're here. You're going to be here. You ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. You're still a blessed people. You're still God's people. Yes. You're blessed to be a blessing in your context, in your place. Blessed right here. Yes, sir. Yes. Right now. Yes. Lord, y'all want a central is only as good as 3014. We're only as good as the zip code. God and Jesus says our welfare, our fairy well, our health, our strength is tied up with the people who are here. What can we give? Mm -hmm. What can we do? Even on this corner, what can we do? Somebody said, we say these men had 75,000 people when they filled up. They give an entertainment crowd. What can we do? Rosies and tin got good food, good atmosphere, they got drinks and food. <laughs> <laughs> and so, said never um, what can we do? Friendship across the street opens up, they, 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 they house people, they give people shelter. What can we do? Mm -hmm. Well, for prophets who are going to deceive people. We bring truth. For so-called dreamers who lie and steal, we bring God's word. We bring a testimony of grace and mercy. We bring a witness of overcoming and victory. We bring stories that tell of healing and deliverance. We bring all that, but then one more thing we bring. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fellow name for Gary yeah, Gunderson, Mad Cray wrote a book called Leading Causes of Life. In that book, they say five things that are essential to life so that life moves and goes beyond, Brother Bill, beyond just existence, beyond just survival. They said you have to have Connection. You can't feel like you're out here by yourself. You got to be with somebody. That's one thing. They said it's got to be coherence. In other words, something has to make sense some kind of way. It's got to be some sort of rationale and, and involved in it. Third, can y'all still hear me again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It says there has to be agency. You have to know that there are things that you can do, that you are empowered to do something in your situation. Sister Anita, he says, Fourth thing, that there has to be a sense of blessing. There has to be a sense that you've been touched by the hand of oh God. All right. But all that will fall dead. Don't have this good thing. And this is what we can bring along with that blessing of others' goodness. You got to have hope. Mercedes Benz got 75,000, that's good! But they ain't necessarily got hope. Mm. All right. I love the food at Rosie's, I love it too much. I love hanging out at 10, a whole lot of fun. They ain't got fun in there, but they ain't necessarily got hope. Mm. Over at William Guy, they got people over there serving, they got 
some point they're going to have to move or what they got to shelter. They ain't necessarily got to. But right here, yeah. on this corner, the last church stand, yeah. right here, yeah. on this corner, yeah. when all kind of other folk move, there's something that we've got, something that we say, because we believe in the power of resurrection, yeah. we believe in the power of Jesus, yeah. we believe in the movement of the Spirit, we've got something that they all need. We have hope.